So, I'm in the garage, and, well, first off, I'm back at home, by the way, and I haven't recorded a YouTube video in about a week and a half. Sorry about that, um, but I got other priorities going on. Um, recently went to a funeral, um, and I've had my botany test, which is one of the hardest tests of my life, have an organismal biology test happening on Monday. Anyway, um... Let's get this video started. So what I have here is my Fugly Mosin, and I'm going to do a little bit of work on it. Um, I have the, if you guys remember, my old NC Star muzzle brake that flew off. Um, it broke the bolts. They're still in there. Don't know if you guys can see that with the lighting. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's old and broken, but this muzzle brake is still perfectly fine and working. A little bit rusty from the corrosive ammo because I had it in a box forever. Whatever. That's going there. Anyway, what I did here is I had the bolt closed and I measured the barrel length. It happened to be 20.5 inches roughly with the, well, not roughly, exactly with the ruler. And, um, well, I marked it and here is 16 inches. I marked it on my cleaning rod. That's 16 inches and I want to chop this off. Now I know what you guys are saying. You're probably going to call me an idiot for doing this, but there's no rifling. So this whole part up to about here has no rifling and I'm assuming it's affecting accuracy greatly because the gas pressures are going out unevenly on the sides of the bullet. I have it marked here at the 16 inch mark. I'm going to go a little bit north of that. But I want to figure out how I can keep my sight block. So I think I'm either going to knock this out and just weld it on and take measurements from here. And I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. But um, I'll let you know. I'm going to cut the barrel. <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit north. I'm going to start right in between the 16-inch mark and my bayonet lug. Actually, start right there. Might as well give it a little bit of extra room. Maximum accuracy, right? You know what? Fuck it. Saws off. I have cut the barrel. And, uh, hold on. Now, the rifling is pretty much good going on the barrel. So I've sanded up the end of the barrel, and... Now, to make sure all the rifling matches up, I'm going to just do a couple spins. And I don't have the proper gunsmithing tools necessarily to do this, but I'm not about to buy a couple hundred parts for a hundred dollar Mosin. Yeah. So, a little bit of change of plans. Um, I just cut the muzzle brake because it looked really awkward on my barrel right there and that just looks freaking short I think uh, I might have to call this the boomstick I didn't realize how because um, all my rifles they're freaking you know the 24 inch barrels so the 16 inch barrel looks hell of a lot shorter actually it's a little bit over because there's my original marking did that on purpose just in case I fuck up <laughs> um, but uh, yeah that looks pretty uh, short Anyway, so for the boomstick, I cut it down, I'm going to sand that and get it all prepped and awesomely ready to go, and then I'm going to put it on. So here's the muzzle brake all prettied up. Um, see the rust on it from the corrosive ammo from before, but I uh, sanded it, should be good now. Um, here's the back of it. And that was actually a pretty clean cut for a sawzall. Um, didn't really need much uh, cleaning up, but now I need to make sure everything fits. So I'm heading upstairs to the welding table, and I sanded down a little bit on the end just to make sure it fits. And um, I took the Mosin out of the stock. The stock is lying right there, and I'm going upstairs to the welding table once again. As a god, my brothers and sisters. Nah, I'm just gonna talk like that. Um, <laughs> what has happened since the last recording? Because this is the next day, believe it or not, on the Muzzle Brake Mosin project. 
Anyway, my uncle came over and he came up to pick up the bear that was in our house, the stuffed bear. It's his. He shot it in Alaska. Um, and so I helped him with that. Then we shot some Tannerite. I got a slow motion video of that. And uh, then I worked on the muzzle brake later that night. And here is what I came up with. Here, here's the boomstick, um, <laughs> so to speak. It's got a bunch of little divots in it from our, I, I have a flux welder, flux core, but um, yeah, um, I shot it five times during the night and it works. And so I have that welded onto my boomstick. Now this is what I'm gonna call it. Now I'm gonna put some, um, I'm gonna do some sanding and a paint coat and uh, should look pretty awesome. I have the receiver with a towel and tape that's taped right up to the um, rear sight block and I'm going to paint it with the, hmm, let's see here, the sandable primer, um, it's stuff that my dad gets and I don't know, it's always worked for me on all my other guns, I painted my Savage the same way and I'm going to top coat it with some flat black from the same brand, much recommended if you can find it finished the first coat well guys here she is all painted up put her in the stock still not fully dry yet I mean it's dry to the touch but not um, fireable especially around the muzzle brake I imagine a lot of paint is gonna come off there but uh, yeah she's pretty much done As I always tend to do, um, here is the final project. Um, calling this the boomstick, it is the M44 Mosin Nagant, all painted up in its glory. I don't have it sighted in yet, I just put that on for looks. I can't find my bipod, um, that's what happens when you go to college and your stuff gets moved. Um, but I got a couple scratches, that's just from walking around in the woods with it in its previous form, but now I call it the boomstick because I have a welded muzzle break onto it and like always my dog is chilling with me hi buddy what's up there guys um, took my Jamaican hat off gotta stick with it down cuz I'm a metalhead but uh, um, anyway one of my best friends um, and I have been doing this YouTube thing for a while and he just started his and frankly his is doing a lot better than mine and check out his channel, um, it's Joseph Zek, or Zekker, as he likes to call it, and he does Minecraft videos where I do gun videos, and we'll probably, we both love guns, so we'll probably do a video together sometime, I don't know, in the near future, but anyway, check his channel out, I'll leave a link down in the description, and um, remember to rate and subscribe my videos, that'd be awesome, thank you.